from frozen ages melt time and it runs free to pool upon the pages of the summertime love story. When well, my first project was called Flashes Struck from Midnights. And I got that title from a poem by Robert Browning. The poem is called Christina. And there's this one stanza that I love. It says, there are flashes struck from midnights. There are sparks that noondays kindle. And he's talking about inspiration and impulses that drive uh, desire and love and creativity. And just this idea of, the, of these flashes at midnight or these sparks at, at midday. I thought, wow, what a, neat, uh, what a neat concept for being creative and writing songs. So that's how I titled my first project. And if you take the CD off, you'll see the, that stanza from the Robert Browning poem. The song is called Heart and Lake. And how it came to be, uh, it originated from a canoe trip that I took with my wife. And it was a very romantic trip. Uh, it was a beautiful summer's day on a lake in Algoma. And actually we canoed through one lake, uh, we pulled the canoe ashore, we hiked, we got to another lake where there was another canoe that was kept there in the bush, we dragged it out. He was leaning against a tamarack, that's in the song. And then we took the boat, the canoe onto that lake uh, and it was called uh, Harton Lake. So it started as a poem and I want to read a little bit of the poem. And then the poem just started working in my brain and uh, started humming some tunes and uh, eventually this song was born. On swelling smoothness of summer sun, unbroken, the floating feather spun, turning tunes on the wandering waterway. With shared strength and spirit the paddlers came, reaching like the lily to claim a portion of placid perfection that day. And it goes on to explain the trip. The last stanza reads, Hills to ascend, blueberries to pick, a colored stone and a beaver stick, touchable treasures they take from that day. And I, I made this little keepsake, complete with the poem and a feather, maybe it wasn't the feather, a beaver stick, a colored stone. I find uh, pieces of nature that you can touch. Um, they're very inspiring. So I put them all together with the poems. And love carries in, it carries in, love carries, carries in, carries them away.